or measured the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance. I have to share one interesting thing to you that there's a friend of mine by the name of Dr. Gerald L. Schroeder. He wrote a book called Genesis and the Big Bang. It's one of the places I steal a lot of my material. <laughs> you won't find it in a Christian bookstore because he's an Orthodox Jew. I found it in B. Dalton, happened to stumble into it, picked it up some time ago. Looked him up when I was in Jerusalem because he's a nuclear physicist and he's witnessed six atomic blasts. And he's an interesting guy. Even though he's not a Christian, he's an Orthodox Jew and he taught me a lot about the ancient sages. And so we became real good friends and, and it's kind of fun. But in his last letter to me, he shared something kind of interesting. We talk about six days. Did the, God create the world in six days, right? And yet uh, we measure astro astronomically. We know the universe is, you know, roughly 13 billion years old and by some other accounting. And, uh, of course, in the Genesis study, we did point out that by using Einstein's theory of general re relativity, time dilates in accordance with mass and acceleration. And that means that when you talk time, whether it's six days on the Earth or somewhere else, you have to deal with gravity and time. Time is neither linear nor absolute. Jerry went and did the equations recently. Took the mass of the universe, which we now know, and took the mass of the Earth. He put an observer on the surface of the Earth and plugged that into Einstein's general theory. He took the mass of the universe and imagined yourself on the perimeter of the universe, put that in Einstein's theory of relativity. And the 13 billion years at the perimeter of the universe, by Einstein's general theory, equates to guess how long on the Earth? Six days. Isn't that kind of fun? The foolishness of God puts to naught the wisdom of men. Interesting.